As the distant war in Europe escalates, the Paradise Island of Coraluna faces a mounting threat from Japan. But some of the islanders, led by the impetuous Mana, believe the Japanese will liberate them from their colonial masters. Chris finds himself falling in love with the island princess Alina, but she is promised in marriage to Mana. When Mana discovers his bride loves another man, he curses Chris to die. really sick. What's wrong with him? I don't know. He's just lying there. Hurry. Jimbo, get my bag. Darling, Jimbo. What are Jimbo? Rehydrate a desert. You'll be all right, Chris. That's enough for now, Jimbo. Not cholera again? No. You don't know what it is, do you? No. He should be in a decent hospital, not stuck out here. Radio Auckland, get proper advice. I'm not sure they can help us. He's sick. It's not a curse. He doesn't believe in any Makutu nonsense. I don't know what else I can do. Dr. Chris, you're not meant to get ill. Lena? Lena. Alina? Where is he? He's calling for you. What have you done to him? <laughs> He's unconscious. I see him. Don't you think you've done enough harm? He looks worse than he is. What have they done to you? Don't leave me. I'm tired. 
tired of being a very tired. Apparently he collapsed last night and he's been deteriorating throughout the day. What will you do if it's some sort of fever and contagious? Put him in quarantine? I'll have a talk with Reed. It may be a possibility. <laughs> it is notoriously difficult to quarantine the spirits, Colonel. Or do your powers of office extend to jurisdiction of the gods? Do you take pleasure in this kind of dribble? I am merely repeating the rumours that can be heard across the island if one cares to listen. These islanders owe Dr. Masters a debt of gratitude after all he's done for them. What a pity they don't share your clarity of vision. I've never known the bastard so argumentative. There's a bloody war on. We're all on edge. Bound to be tensions. They're understandably frightened. Frightened? Do you really believe they fear a war against Japan? Do you think there's anything I could take to poor Dr. Masters? I paid some beef tea. Alas, Mrs. Fawcett, I fear the restorative powers of beef tea are sadly limited outside of Surrey and Hampshire. George, my sweet. People may say foolish things when they're feverish. He looks so awful. I didn't think I could feel so much. You'll be all right. What the hell's going on? You can't help him. Nobody can help him. Dad? Get out of here. Soon you'll be finished here. All you whites, you'll all be gone. Go back inside and watch your patient die, Doctor. If any hotheads are stirring up trouble, I want to know about it, understood? There are always rumors, Colonel. Many people think the Japanese will come to liberate them. Nonsense, the British fleet will see them off. Tell them about Singapore. The largest military base in the Southern Hemisphere. I will do my best. Yet I fear there are some who would be pleased to see you leave. I want to know who these people are and who's spreading these rumors, and we'll deal with it. The last thing we need now is trouble from within. I understand, Colonel. No better. Who asked you to come? I'll just sit with him a while. He doesn't need you. He's not dying. Doc. Shall I make some tea? Not for me, thanks. Okay.
Jimmy, did you open any of these? No, Papa. The seals have been tampered with. I didn't do anything. That's Dr. Master's own supply. Hold this towel over the boat tight. supposed to be looking for? God knows. There, there! What? Black specks. Jim, you dear bonny lad. Don't use any more of these bottles. Run to the hospital and get some fresh distilled water from there. He's poisoned the water we've been giving Chris to drink. We've been killing him ourselves. Poison? And there it is. He's crushed up coconut beetles and put them in the water. A couple of those will give you an upset stomach for a week. A couple of dozen will kill you. I'm delighted he's getting better. Excellent. Very good news indeed. And... I'm sorry? You're not going to arrest him? Regrettably, no. <laughs> he's a troublesome swine and nothing would give me greater pleasure. He tried to murder Chris, for God's sake. So we believe. But discovering these bugs in the water is hardly proof, is it? Well, what more do you want? Tell me, Miss Reed. Just why are you so certain it's Marna? Half the island knows Marna's responsible. Uh, maybe so. But, I mean, why would he do it? I don't know. So, best left alone, I'm afraid. Let's just rejoice that Dr. Masters is on the men. No point in trying to act without proof. What are you afraid of? Don't get unduly alarmed. I'm sure it'll all blow over. But I don't want to precipitate ill feeling if it can be avoided. You know the sort of thing. Tiki, get me the constable. He's looking much better already. He's sound asleep. Under the watchful eye of the entire Coraluna police force. Force it appeases his conscience. I begin to see why he ended up in this backwater. It has its charm. My fifth sister lives in Lincoln also married a farmer. Do you miss them? Absolutely not. I gratefully received Dundee cake at Easter, a card at Christmas, and leave it at that. Do you have a right? No. How do they know you're still alive? They don't. Sometimes I'm not even sure myself. <laughs> We should get some sleep, too. You take the couch. I'll sit up in case he wakes.
was that? Where is he? You stay right there. Fuck them all! I mean, never mind. Fuck them all! Motherfucker, who you were? You bastard. I'll go and get Fawcett. No. I want the pleasure of waking him up. <laughs> You'll bloody well stay here as long as I stay. How long will that be? You damn near murdered a white man. What do you expect to happen to you? He wants my wife. That's ridiculous. Ask him. Don't tell me what to do. He deserves to be punished, not me. That is for the court to decide. You can't keep me here, Colonel. My people won't let you. Take him away and lock him up. How dare they do this? Colonel believes he can do as he pleases. Find Alina. Did Mana do this? So the British say. It's the war. Makes it difficult to get supplies. You're an extortionist, and always have been. I'm a realist, Miss Reid. Miss Salvi. How's Dr. Masters today, Paula? Well enough to get back onto fluids. I'm delighted. No one regrets this more than I do, but I would ask you not to interfere. Mana has married into my family. This is an island matter. He must remain in custody. There's nothing else I can do. Surely you see that? No, Colonel, I do not. Where are you going? Colonel Fawcett wants to see me. Well, he should come here. You're still too weak to go running around the island. Thanks, Doc. I'm fine. I bring strange-smelling soup from Molly and strict instructions that you're to drink every drop. Well, if you've a relapse, I'll know who to blame. And I brought this to take the taste away. Well, I'll see you two later. Don't overdo it. Disobeying doctor's orders already. I've got to go and see the colonel. I thought it might look better if I had some trousers on. Should have seen Miss Savi this morning. Positively glowing. And wearing a rather fetching dress. Purvis, do you think? Paula. And he started writing again. Taken over Fawcett's typewriter. Inspired by love, I'd say. Now, Paula, stop it. Stop what? Pretending that nothing's happened. Let's celebrate your resurrection. Don't spoil it, Chris. Listen to me. I know what you're going to say. Most men who come to these islands get infatuated by island women. And most get over it, I understand. I don't think you do. Well, I'm hardly going to go crying to Daddy about it, am I? And I don't see you ending up like him. You don't know what you're saying. Here, drink that. You've got to parade for the Colonel. No one expects you to remain a saint. But for God's sake, man, she's their princess. And what's more, she's a married woman. I've done nothing wrong and neither has she. I'm not suggesting you have. I simply don't want to give these people an excuse to cause more trouble. Mana tried to kill me. It's a little late to start trying to avoid trouble, don't you think? Well, from now on, I expect you to stay right away from her. Is that an instruction? I rather hoped you'd listen to my advice. I've listened. Damn it, man. Her mother's already been in to register an official complaint. Christopher! 
How nice to see you on your feet again so soon. Thank you. A fever in this climate can be so debilitating. They do say one recuperates that much faster. Very kind of you. The Colonel and I are just going to the club for lunch. Will you join us? Not this time, thank you. Oh, dear. Such a pity. <laughs> Why have you come here, Dr. Master? I would like to talk with you. Privately. That is not possible, Doctor. I want to explain. I am sorry. You are not welcome here. We do not want any of you here. Good day, Doctor. No, thanks. It's Jimbo's bedtime. Thank you. That food was lovely. Good night. Mm. I'm sorry it's taken me such a long time. I've never hurried anything since I came here. I think that's one of the joys of this place. Not worrying. Accepting. I've always been a contrary little miss. Have you thought about leaving? Yes, I thought about it. It might be for the better. Chris isn't like you. He should get away from here. He came to achieve something and then he'll move on. He's been distracted, that's all there is. He didn't send his research paper back, Paula. I had a letter from Nick Barton asking me if he'd been eaten by savages. I wrote back and told him he had, of course. But he needs to know about Chris's work. Why didn't you send it back? not my place to do that. Are you sure it's wise to fall in love with him like this? It's not really a matter of choice, is it? Perhaps it's you that's been seduced by island fever, not him. Perhaps it is. Coming aboard? Not this time. I came to give you this. It's for Chris. It's important. Okay. Good luck. And don't fight with any Germans till you posted it. I'll do my best to avoid them. latest reports, it now seems more than 15 ships have been sunk at Pearl Harbor oh in God. Hawaii, including the American battleships Arizona, California, and Oklahoma. And at least 150 American planes have been destroyed or damaged. It appears many civilians have also lost their lives in the attack. The exact number of casualties is not known, but they are expected to number in the thousands. Bloody hell. President Franklin D. Roosevelt of the United States of America, in a statement today, 
said such a cowardly act of aggression would not go unpunished. And the United States of America is now at war with Japan. Oh, oh, God. God. Yes. 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 It is also reported that the simultaneously launched unprovoked attacks on Allied bases in the Philippines, Hong Kong, and Malaya. The Mongols got as far as Singapore. Henry has cousins there. These in London, bastards. Mr. Wymont is seen... I want to say I'm sorry. What for? Behaving like a wife and then avoiding you. I'm sorry if I slept with me. No. Neither am I. No more details. Those lot seem grim enough to me. They are. They're still a long way away. True. But now there's no longer a navy between us and them. Keen that the elderly should go first. A very big ship. Doesn't feel like an evacuation. It isn't yet. They say that thousands have been killed, that the Americans have been defeated. I'm so sorry. I'll take care of you. How? My people are against you now. They say that money must be tried by us, not the whites. I'm frightened. But when the trial's over, we can be together. Thank you. 
Japanese attacks right on our nerve, Frosty. I don't know how he's going to handle this. Ineptly, I'd imagine. What do they think's going to happen? Under island law, I believe they'd throw Mana to his death from a cliff. Of course, it may send him back to New Zealand. Some might regard that as a worse fate. Hard to tell exactly who's on trial. My daughter's husband should be tried by the people of Kuruluna. I've already told you, Tiare, this is not a trial. It is merely a hearing. While this island is under New Zealand jurisdiction, it's my responsibility to ensure that we abide by the law. Colonel Fawcett, you bring shame to this island. It's not a question of shame, it's a question of law. But you must respect our laws. It is not for you to judge him. The accused is charged with an attempt on Dr. Master's life. I'm here to establish whether there's a prima facie case against Marla. If I decide there is, he will go to Auckland for trial before a judge and jury there. That's all we're here for. Is that clearly understood? Now, please sit down. You only do this because a white man is involved. Silence, sit down. Constable, remove that man from the court. We'll proceed in an orderly fashion. <laughs> Silence! If I don't have silence, I'll clear the court and continue this hearing in closed session. I'll only accept official submissions. Because it's losing control. Hard to lose what you've never had. Colonel, the charges against Munna are false. Dr. Masters is the guilty one. Silence! I will not tolerate any more interruptions. Kiki, you of all people should understand the importance of... He sleeps with my wife! That's a lie! It is the truth! He was with Elena last night, alone. She was in his house. There was a witness. Clear the building. Constable, I want this building emptied now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I want the person who threw that stone arrested. Constable, return the prisoner to custody at once. Unload the passengers in Fiji, then. I'd like Mana off the island as soon as possible. Understood? Over. And I don't fancy getting stoned to death because the doctor keeps his brains in his trousers. I'm so sorry, my dear. There is nothing to be sorry for. I'm sure I'd see you today. I'm still a doctor. Of course. I'd like to carry on working. Save it to me. Well, I won't stop you. Thank you, Alec. What? Doctor. Have you seen Paula? Yeah, she's gone back to the hotel. Hello? I'll be looking for you. You found me. I'm leaving. 
Brooks said. Had a man-to-man -man chat, did you? It's not true, Paula. I don't give a damn if you actually slept with her or not. If you think that, you're a bigger fool than I imagined. It wasn't like that. You're just like a selfish little child. It's bad enough chasing after island girls, but you get caught the night before the bloody trial. Do you ever think about anybody but yourself? Do you? I came to wish you luck. Oh, well, thank you. I'll treasure that. I was a fool to think you ever loved me. You wanted me to love you so much. You made yourself believe that I did. Get out! Seventh Cavalry. Shabby, but appreciated nonetheless. I could issue you with one of these. No, thank you, Colonel. The pen is mightier than the sword, it is alleged. Get the car, we'll fetch Mona. I'll arrest you. Now go! Move! Get him into the boat. Need any help, Colonel? You sail tomorrow as arranged. It will all die down when you're safely out of sight. You sure? I'm not intimidated by that rabble. Okay. Cast off, Rara! Front. That's what confrontations are always about. Never let the bastards think they've got a chance. <laughs> Henry. The first skirmish, Colonel. I fear the war has just begun. Well, I intend to enjoy our little victory, if it's all the same to you. Now, Tiki's shown us true colors. The enemy's a damn sight easier to see. You know Miss Reed's leaving. So I'd gathered. Evening. Good evening. Congratulations, Colonel. I hear you handle the problem at the jetty very calmly. Thank you. That should be an end to it all. Don't you agree? Let's hope so. Good. 
The Japanese are the real enemy now. Those of us who are staying should pull together. Can I get anyone a drink? You certainly can, old chap. George? Perhaps we should go and wave Miss Reed off. You think so? I don't think you're wrong to stay. You're the only one who doesn't. You can't always please other people. No. Carol, good morning. Good morning. Came to see you off, my dear. That's very kind of you. Morning, ladies. I didn't expect to see you here, mate. Shut up. Be all right, Jimbo. She's dead. Fine. Those poor people on the mantel. 
do. Shh. No one can help them now. to see you, to see that you're all right. Mana's dead. No one got off the ship. You know that. I also came to say goodbye. I'm not leaving. I can't be with you now, Chris. I don't understand what you're saying. What do you mean? My people blame the whites for this. It's you they were attacking. It's not our war, Chris. Surely you can see that. It's everybody's war now. Now more than ever, we must be together. It's not possible. I love you, Alina. I've come to say goodbye. Opinion. I share nothing with you. Not even his bed. You shouldn't have let them go. They destroy everything. No! Chris! Next week on the other side of paradise.